Mike Rice back again with you at the Springfield Civic Center. The two stars of this game, Miles Clark, the senior from Augusta, Georgia, there he is, and number 22, Ray Pugh. They're right there standing side by side preparing for this game. Much offensive output from both of these will be needed. Yes, and uh, <laughs> on North Carolina Central's part, of course, I talked to Mike Bernard, and he's got his leading score checking their leading score because he doesn't know who his leading score is. Only two officials, John Jaworski and Carl LeBranch. They've spent much of this year in the ECAC North and the MAC conferences, and uh, this is a transition for them as well. They're used to a three-man crew as well. And a turnover, Miles Clark forced into it from some pressure provided by Ray Pugh. Ron Shoemate in the shoot around today as we see the game notes. They're 13th in the nation. They defeated Jacksonville State in the mm -hmm. semifinals, Southeast Missouri, eighth in the nation. They defeated Cal Riverside. Great ball club mm -hmm. to beat Iowa earlier. And a steal taken away by Jeffrey Hayes. Oh, and the iron unkind to open this NCAA Division II National Championship. Nice move inside. Rutherford gets it to the big man, Wilson. 2-0 Southeast Missouri State. And that'll give everyone an idea of what these two guards for Southeast Missouri can do. Well, they get it inside quickly. Antoine Sippert, the junior from East Spencer, North Carolina, ties the game at two. Rutherford. Kicked out, taken away by Sippert again. Counted, and the foul. Boy, uncharacteristically, North Carolina Central pushing it up with the help of their defense. Well, everybody all year said North Carolina Central. No one likes to play them simply because they take the air out of the ball. He, Coach Bernard said, no, we don't. We take the good shot. We just play great defense. You'll see in the tournament. And they have tried to run all tournament. Sifford out of Warren County High School in North Carolina. I was kidding him, calling him the Princeton of Division II. He said, no way. He said, we're the Georgetown of Division II. 5-2, North Carolina Central with a lead. Down low, Taylor now, moving away from the ball, and then setting picks as Pugh lets one fly. Too strong, and Sippert collects it for North Carolina Central. Both leading scorers are injured earlier in this tournament, both Pugh and Miles Clark. Hayes with a rainbow. Jeffrey Hayes. 7-2. Eagles. He had to go back to 50. But 23 points last night. Nice move again inside by McKinnon. 11 to 8, North Carolina Central. Taylor. Hayes with a rebound for North Carolina Central. Because Central doesn't fast break a lot. Southeast Missouri sending four men to the board, and it looks like they, North Carolina Central, could fast break them because help, there's help. no one back when the guards penetrate. Hayes over Taylor. Boy, he's handling the ball so very well, and with that height advantage, that really helps him out when he's looking into that defense early on the offensive end. But he plays in spurts on the offensive end. And I, I would suppose that's because he has so much responsibility defensively in every game. Yes, if he's checking someone on the other team that's very good, he kind of gets out of the offense. Yeah, and right on cue, <laughs> Miles knocks it home, 16 to 8 now. And he has to get into the offense a little bit more. And so far, it's Southeast Missouri with the great defensive pressure. They're mm -hmm. taking, they're not going to let North Carolina Central have all the defensive glory tonight. North Carolina Central staked themselves this lead with turnovers off the break early, and now Miles Clark is in the groove. It's 19 to 10. Well, Pugh's out of the ball game, so he has no defensive assignment. Now he's going to get in the game offensively. Pugh right on Clark. Number one on number one. Stevens baseline. Boy, he has really found his offense here in the birthplace of basketball, Springfield, Massachusetts. He may never leave Springfield. After last night, I thought he averaged 20 a game. I looked and he averaged five, but this is his court for on the ball club. But they're much better when they go inside. Miles Clark 
over view. Sifford keeps it alive. And it's a foul. Count it. And it could be a three-point trip. Down on the deck was Darren Shepard there, and a good job done again by Sifford. Sifford was a great scorer last year when they had Derek Leakes. He was their conference honorable mention All-American that went out of the lineup this year after the 10th grade, but Leakes was so good offensively, Sifford could sit outside and shoot three-pointers. He had to adjust his game a little bit. Michael Bernard and his North Carolina Central Eagles with a nine-point lead over Southeast Missouri State. They're located in Durham, North Carolina, an enrollment of 5,000. They play in the Central Intercollegiate Athletic Conference. There are two regions, 14 teams in those regions. They won the Southern Region and were third. This is their third NCAA tournament appearance. And, of course, Ron Shoemate, as we aforementioned, an outstanding career at Tennessee Chattanooga and then later here at Southeast Missouri. In Camp Girardeau, Missouri, an enrollment of 9,000 playing out of the Missouri Intercollegiate Athletic Conference, 27 and 5. This is their 12th appearance, and for the coach himself, 10 out of the last 12 years he's taken his team into the NCAA postseason. Rutherford kept alive by Pugh, cleared by Jeffrey Hayes. Tim Brando, along with Mike Rice, happy you joined us here on ESPN for the NCAA Division II National Championship from Springfield, Massachusetts. North Carolina Central out to a nine-point lead over Southeast Missouri. And they're going to test the outside shooting of North Carolina Central with a 1-3-1 zone. First zone look of the ball game. Nice drop step by Dominique. The stop and he turned, by Dominique Stevens. And he saw little Ernest Taylor standing there, and he said, I got something for the back man in that 1-3-1 zone. You have to. The right is setting in, so he doesn't go up and down the court too quick. 29-19. And now Miles Clark pops up for three. 32-19, largest lead of the game. Miles Clark with three trays for all nine of his points. And he liked that zone defense last time. He'd like to see that more. Neither team has held the ball for more than 20 seconds on any one possession. Great help out defense that time by Hayes. Henry has it slapped away. I think Pops got in there and popped it free. Miles again. Sifford again keeps it alive for Dominique Stevens. And he follows his own shot. But again, Sifford. Rebound cleared by Shepard for Southeast Missouri State. And Pugh is open. That's been the story of this first half. You can bet one shot and one shot only will be taken as Coach Mike Bernard yells out instructions. He got that early lead with some turnovers, actually pushed the ball up the floor in a hurry, and ever since, he's been playing the tempo game we talked about at the outset. Bennett, nice pass to Hayes from Big Pop. And there's another steal by Hayes. Oh, what a climax to a devastating first half for that man, Ron Shumate. As Hayes and Miles have been all over the Southeast Missouri Indians here in the first half. This is not how to go into the locker room at halftime against a great defensive team as we see right here. Oh, oh Taylor got caught looking at the clock. Yes. And, uh, Jeff Hayes wasn't. No. At the end of the first half, North Carolina Central leads by 22. This was an assistant coach for him, the current coach at Clemson when he was at Tennessee Chattanooga. Sifford with 14, Wilson for Southeast Missouri State has six. So that should tell you the story, but as we mentioned, a five minute drought to close the first half and a key turnover closing out that half as well for Southeast Missouri State. But just that quickly, Dwayne Rutherford gets the first hoop of half number two. And letting them play now will swing over to Southeast Missouri because they are the more aggressive team being behind, so that'll give them a little edge. For the ball movement, though, you have to love it on each possession. North Carolina Central has given up seven more points this half, but each trip down, not too many dribbles. And no one takes a shot they shouldn't. The big fellas that are 15 feet pass the basketball. 
shot clock down to 20. This has been the longest possession of the game for North Carolina Central. And you see what happens. Yes. Inside to Adrian McKinnon. Six points for the gentle giant, as they call him, in Greensboro, North Carolina, Adrian McKinnon. Mike Lewis is locked into the game now, number 12 for Southeast Missouri, the outside shooting star. And you see the time of possession much longer in half number two for the Eagles. And he gets Sacred Heart in his nice inside pass. North Carolina Central got five offensive rebounds, took the ball outside each time. They held the ball four minutes without Sacred Heart Rebound! touching it in one series. So they know how to control the clock. Johnny Coleman's first perimeter shot wouldn't fall for Southeast Missouri. McKinnon got the hoop on the other end, and it's a 19-point lead now for the Eagles. A lot of picks. Sifford gets away from Lewis. And the bank's open late in Springfield. Boy, Sifford, it's all been open for him. He is having a career night, and Michael Bernard's club has extended its lead back to 21. John Simpson in the game has now picked up Clark, number 32 in white, shading number 33 in the dark uniform you see there. Coach Bernard wants to spread it out. Clark said, hello, Drive Mr. Simpson. down the middle <laughs> and put a clinic on. It doesn't seem to matter who they put on Clark. 51-30. Now they're back into the swing of their offense. A little tentative North Carolina Central earlier. Now they're spreading it out and taking a very good shot after running down the clock. As we saw the possession time of 26 seconds. And that shows a well-coached team. Lost it on the dribble. And Miles Clark has it followed by Dominique. The Neek. <laughs> he had five slam blammers last night. Well, that's a new one. <laughs> Neek. Neek's original. Come on. Coleman. Well, they're, they're launching bad shots now. And Antoine Sifford and company will make them pay. 55 30, a 25 point lead. It's getting embarrassing for Ron Shoemake. Now that white towel is not for surrender, but it could be if the jersey were white. 11:31 left. Was a forward center in high school and converted over to point guard. He quit the team mm -hmm. a year ago because he didn't think he could play point guard. Well, Miles Clark gets the hoop and the foul. And Ray Pugh. Now the frustration beginning to be felt. Number one defensive team in the nation. What was that you said at the opening of the telecast? The, the, the Bobby Knight of Division II? I'd say you're right on with that. Yes, they brought out, they talked the words of trench warfare and <laughs> elbow pads and knee pads. That's right. That's how this team plays defense. They bump you, they bruise you. And on offense, they set a lot of screens to get their men open. And inside, Adrian McKinnon knocks it home. So... <laughs> When you make a defensive mistake on a silly foul, you're out of the ball game. Billy Tubbs substitutes. Stevens, too strong. No harm, no foul. As Taylor was waiting, there's Hayes, and Dominique gets another chance. Seven in the tournament. Dominique, a mean, lean dunking machine here. Is you in your lineup. Mr. Sippert has been the surprise tonight. Derek Johnson, number 32, has come into the game now for North Carolina Central. 6'5", senior from New Bern, North Carolina. He has the ball right now. He's got a lane, and he finds Dominique to fill it. Oh, Nick. <laughs> he has a dozen, and they've been thunderous. Transferred in, and they're going to have to wait and see as we see the Neek sneaking over on the other side. And beautiful pass. Even his teammates like to see the Neek do that. The leader of this club all year, senior out of Augusta, Georgia, and Richmond Academy. Look at that. You could see at the start of the ball game, at the pregame interviews, these North Carolina Central players were very emotional about 
They had been here before, the two seniors, and they wanted to win very badly here. Happy group, the two stars, Clark and Sifford, togetherness, and a title on the way. His job. Coach Bernard has done his job. Good pass, the cutter is Hayes, and the pass was a beauty. 68-42. type things. No, not many VHS tapes available at the Division II level. And Derek Johnson's doing a little pointing over here. <laughs> he said, did you see that no-look pass I had? Derek Man did. Ron Shoemate's seen far too much tonight. Derek says, I'm on TV. Coach Shoemate, just that's your worst dream, to make it to the final game as we see Jeff Hayes going out of the ball game. And I'll tell you, we do have a vote for MVP in this tournament, and I got a feeling my vote may be for that young man because the first game of the tournament, he had a lot of turnovers, and they were really, everybody said, you can press that North Carolina Central team. Mm -hmm. This young man came back after that first bad game and had two great games of handling the ball. Off tonight's performance, it'll be interesting to see how the rest of the media here decides but state does a great job they, a great division two team now division one joel hopkins number 22 also into the game now for north carolina central as it's mop-up time for the champions there's the turnover by big derrick hello and the neek was on the bench saying throw it down as the as the whole bench is getting into this ball game, the Neek won it another day. Even on the bench, he wanted it. Fred Bennett, even at 30s, over there dancing. <laughs> Here's Johnson again. Tried to reverse that time. No Geritol tonight for this ball club. <laughs> and a foul prior to the hoop. Just nine seconds remaining. And Darren Shepard will go right. But look at that. that that is March Madness. <laughs> and the defensive clubs celebrate every bit as much as the clubs that score 100. And they probably win a lot more. Number one defensive team in the nation. Anytime you have a team that does something a little better on defense, like a Georgetown blocking shots, UNLV puts pressure, you always lean towards them in the playoffs. North Carolina Central by the largest margin in the history of the Division II National Championship easily passed Southeast Missouri State by a final score of 73 to 46. And with us right now is the happy coach and Michael Bernard. It must be a great moment for you coming away not only with this victory but the entire season with, with this group of kids that I know you're extremely proud of. Well, yes, I'm very, very proud of this group. Uh, at the outset of the season, we had a few goals. We wanted to try to get to the national championship. We felt if we could get there, we, we could perhaps win it. This is a great group. They have great character. It's not the most talented group in the world, but they get after you. Wait a minute. He's going to tell us he doesn't have enough talent. <laughs> Coach, what do you tell everyone that talks about exciting fast break basketball? Well, I think it, it is exciting. There's no question about that. That's an exciting part of a game. But you got to have material to do that. And uh, we don't have the material to really run on a consistent basis. But you can see we did run with opportunity. Antoine Sifford, coach, on both ends of the floor was a real catalyst tonight. You expect it from Miles Clark. You also expect it inside as well. But Sifford really did it for you on both ends of the floor. He averages 10. He had 21 tonight. Well, he played the game of his life. And he was a pleasant surprise for us tonight. I'm just so happy for Antoine. This afternoon, the shoot around, Miles wasn't there. I was a little nervous for your ball club. He's your leader. Were you a little excited about your star? 
Well, we were concerned about it. Miles has a sore throat. He also has a hip pointer, uh, but he's a tough kid. And if anybody could come over to overcome these type of things, it would be Miles. So we kept stayed in the bed today, and he came out here and played one heck of a game. In the state of North Carolina, where it's tobacco road heaven for college basketball with Duke, NC State, and North Carolina, it must make you happy to know that the first big goal to be brought home in the month of March will come from your club in Durham. Well, it's a little old school on the other side of town in Durham uh, called North Carolina Central. We represent, too, the state of North Carolina. We're very, very happy to bring this crown home. Well, congratulations, Michael. You've earned it. You certainly deserve it. You're a champion. Thank you very much. All right. For Mike Rice, this is Tim Brando saying so long from Springfield, Massachusetts, where tonight, inside, outside, all around the town, the true champions belong to Michael Bernard, and the entire state of North Carolina can be proud. They have their first champion in March.